Alrighty, well it is about quarter after three. We've been waiting just about all day for this storm to stop. It's been blowing like crazy and snowing. And uh, this is about how it looks. We've got a bit of snow here and it is still snowing. The panels have been cleared a couple times already. Look at that. Yeah, but we have to venture out into the brutal elements. <laughs> yeah, it's not so nice out here, is it? It's starting to get better though, eh? Uh, yeah, it was worse this morning for sure. Yeah, so we're gonna see what we can get done here. The snow's really piling up there, but let's go see. We put the car in the building last night because we knew it was supposed to snow last night. How much? Yeah, look at that. That's just since this morning. It's up to her ankles. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but it snowed pretty hard all night. I mean, all morning, I should say. It didn't snow last night, I don't think. So we didn't get anything done today. We've been just trying to keep the solar panels uncovered. I did. Put the car in here though last night. That's one thing I thought I should do. Oh, oh, got a little bit of snow on it. Haven't tackled Heather's snowmobile yet. It sits there broken and busted. Oh, we got a little bit of snow, but not too much, Heather. That's nothing compared to what would have been on it if it was out there. And it's still coming down. Hmm. Well, put the little garden tractor in here too. I also brought in a spare battery for it last night. The one I used to start the generator. I put it here. With a good battery, it rolls over fast enough it fires right up. But the battery, not so great. Not so great. Gotta say I'm loving this building. Be better when it's done. But for now, oh yeah, those are those two by six we milled yesterday. And that's six by six. It's supposed to be minus 19 degrees Celsius tonight. So Heather and I, we're going to get a few, we're just gonna get a small sleigh load of wood, probably just out of our slab pile. Give us a little bit of exercise out here. Can't have the camera out too long and it's snowing so badly, but I think what we're going to do also is put some fuel in that generator. We're going to fire it up. So I'll go put the diesel in the generator. Can you grab those battery cables? And then I will come in and I will get the cables over there by that John Deere on the Ford. And I will come in and get the battery in a bit, okay? Let's go put some diesel in this generator. And you can see how hard this thing is to start. It got pretty cold last night and I ran that thing out of fuel. So it's, it's, I mean, not that hard to start, but it's not that easy either once it runs out of fuel. But we're gonna see what we can do here. Set this up right here. I'll show you what it's like living off grid here when you do not have grid power. This is what we go through on a day like today because we don't want to draw our batteries down too low. So we run this on days like this. <coughs> we got this done. Now, let's put some diesel in this thing here. First of all, we'll clear this off. Wowzers, eh? This should fill it up. Is the battery, it, hmm? is, is the battery uh... Battery's in there. Yeah, you don't have to carry it out if you don't want to. Just these? Yep, just drop them there. See, 
Sometimes I get started by hand, but I don't think I'm going to be able to today because it got pretty cold last night. Such a dependable thing. Yeah, I'm going to take the screen out here. I know that's there to catch all the snow and the water and the dirt and blah, 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 but. Fill this up now, we'll be good for another. We let it run until it runs out of fuel. It's 13 hours roughly. So it's 3.30 now, it'll run till about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. A little bit more. That's it. I don't want to go any more than that. I'm going to see how it starts first. Oh, without it? Okay. Without it, yeah. See how stiff it is to pull over. First of all, if that, if that cord, if I turn that starter cord, recoil, a little more, then it would be easier to pull. This is what it's like living up here in Northern Ontario, Canada with no electricity other than what we make ourselves. And you folks know this is the generator I built myself. Whoa, that thing's hard to start, or that's hard to pull over. I don't think there's any way this thing's starting by hand. Oh, I keep slipping. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That would pull out the back real quick. I need this here. That thing is stiffer than stiff. I'm gonna set the battery up. I'm gonna set the camera up over here. Oh yeah. That was stiff to pull. The ground, I stick right here on the bolt. I just stick it there right now. And this here. Um. Oh, something here, not right. It's battery. Too low? Nope. nope, cable is. It may be too loose. It'll go. shortly.
15 degrees Celsius out here. But it went down fairly cold last night. That's what I got. That's about how hard that thing is to start in the cold. It's usually not too bad like that. That's actually harder than it usually is. And now this thing here, this tractor. Huh. Is it going to start? I'm gonna pass the camera to Heather. Here you go, babe. Let's see what this is gonna be like to start now. I'm not gonna do the driveway until tomorrow, I don't think. nothing wrong with it. it just needs a good battery when it rolls over fast it starts like nothing because like I said that ACR that automatic compression release causes problems it holds the exhaust valve open just a little wee bit until the engine gets rolling over fast enough then it closes the exhaust valve and then it can fire if it doesn't do that it fires on an open exhaust which you will not build up compression it's like a wore out engine that's how they're designed to work so that said, now I think Heather and I is probably going to cut up some slabs. Did I put the chainsaw in the basement last night? I believe I did, right? Um, I don't hmm? know. I think I did. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Look at that.
folks probably realized we couldn't we couldn't stay away. We had to come in and get a small load of wood. Too boring if we don't. That's what I say. Well, let's fill this up. How much fuel is in there? Oh yeah, she's pretty low. Yeah. Yippers. So beautiful in here. Even 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 if on a cold day, it's still really nice. I love it. You'll see how just you'll see just how easy it is too for us to get our firewood. So if we were totally out of wood, if we didn't have that big slab pile out there, and if we didn't already have firewood in the basement, I'll show you. Now mind you, we don't have much in the basement, but we have firewood in the basement. Now this dead wood in here is already dead. It's already seasoned. It's all ready for burning because it. It died standing, and it's dried. Oh, I feel that. And it has dried standing, so. And since it's standing vertical, not much water gets inside of it. It's not like it was laying horizontally where it could soak the water up. And, no, there's not a lot of creosote in this pine. There can be, but, I mean, there's enough, I guess, if you weren't careful, you could have chimney fires. We tend to keep our chimney cleaned out really good, so we're lucky that way. We don't take any chances. <clears throat> Grab that screwdriver, babe. Yeah, it's in my pocket. Good. I want to show these good folks. So, these screwdrivers, these tools, I'll show you exactly what they're for. Some of you know this already, but some of them you don't. If you get a good saw, I don't know if they're all like this, but I would think a good, decent saw, so that large one is for your spark plug, also for your gas. If you wanna take your gas cap off, if you don't wanna use your fingers because it gets on there pretty tight sometimes, this little tool undoes it nicely. This little guy is for loosening the nuts on your bar to tighten your chain up. That's a screwdriver to tighten the adjuster on your chain. But this little guy also fits right in here. You see this? Come on over here. I just gotta clean this out here. This is where you put your chain oil. Pretty much always goes at the front of a chainsaw. That's where your chain oil usually goes. Pretty much always. So that just fits in there. And you just unthread it. Now I always clean that out just so I don't get any sawdust in there although they have a really good filter in there all that oil does is lubricate the chain for some of you folks that don't know this and i try to use winter winter chain oil i leave it on the snowmobile like i said before if you take it in the house then it's too thin because this is designed to be a certain viscosity or thickness at a certain temperature. You're supposed to use this in the winter, leave it outside, keep it thick. Take it inside, it's gonna turn like water. See, I always add a little bit to my saw because the saw's been in there in the house overnight. So I always add a little bit of oil just to cool the rest of the oil down so it works. And you see how stringy that is? See how stringy that is? That's what it's supposed to do on your chain. It's supposed to lubricate that, that chain on your bar. Tighten that up here now. Now I'll show you, I'm gonna tighten my chain as well. I know I showed a lot of you folks this before. A lot of you folks already know this. I tend to stand right here when I do this. I stand here, I loosen those two. Boom. This guy. Clean out in here, because on this one, that is where the adjuster is. There's a little screw right in here that you turn clockwise to tighten the chain up. And then I lift it up and I see how much it hangs. That's a little loose. I'll tighten it some more. If you don't lift it, see, you won't know how much slack there is because when you lift that up, that chain will come even more loose. Set it down, it goes tight. Lift it up, it goes loose. And that's about right. When I tighten it too, I always lift up on the end of the bar 
as well to take the slack out and then I tighten it. You leave it hanging down as you're cutting, it can slowly vibrate up. It'll come loose. I don't tighten these too tight either. There we go. That rolls over easy. Put this in my pocket. Just so I don't lose it. I don't take my chainsaw into the house a lot of times, but the sleigh was at the house last night, so I just set it inside instead of walking all the way out to the pole barn. I didn't notice any gasoline smell in the house either, so that's a good thing. Alrighty, I see the tree I want right up there. Do you see that, Heather? Come on, Bill. See how spindly the top is on that? You don't want to start using a wedge and an ax for hammering on that. You seen how bad that one was yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video where I was milling the crack in it from it from the wind catching it and twisting it. That thing's bad at all up there, it'll come down on you once you start hammering it. But I can see it's leaning that way. They always lean uphill. So as the wind's trying to blow them, they grow leaning up the hill. So that's why when you mill these guys, if they're growing on a side hill, they will nine times out of 10, they will curl and pinch your blade on your bandsaw. I'm gonna try to drop it down right on this side. See that balsam right there? A little balsam looks like a Christmas tree. I'm gonna drop it just on this side. I'm gonna try to drop it as close to the trail as I can. Do you want me to push? What's that, baby? Do you need me to push? Oh no, it'll go easy. Okay. And yes, the chain is dull. I gotta sharpen it again, but. Oh, hey, I just. We'll dump the sleigh and we'll just load it and we'll keep pulling ahead. See, there's another dead one right here. There's a few dead ones right in here. I was going to save that for two by six, but I'm glad I didn't because he's rotted. I'm glad I just cut him down for firewood. I'll bring up the old white snow beast here. One. Come look at this one here. Yeah, I see that. Right over here, and there's actually a few, but I don't know if they're gonna be rotted like that inside, but look at that. Yeah. Besides that one there at the bottom. It's nice. It's got a bit of a crook, but we'd still easily get eight, ten feet out of that, and then the rest we get a bunch too. And it's dead. 
bunch of dead ones right in here. Some broken off. Broken off ones are probably going to be no good. But I'm going to dump this off. Some people leave a little bit of snow and sawdust in the bottom just to help protect that but since we run fairly smooth trails here I don't leave anything in the bottom I just dump it out each time there ends up being a lot of weight in there so I'll get the camera set up and we will get recording this okay well I'm gonna leave you folks with this beautiful snowy scene here while we cut this up Oh, let me know. You folks enjoying, would you folks enjoy living a lifestyle like we live out here where we get to play? Every day we do is pretty much fun. I love it. The scenery I think is the best ever. I mean, in the summer we get beautiful summer days. We get nice lush green forests. We have nice, we can grow nice gardens in the winter. We get this beautiful scenic mystical forest to play in. Isn't it great, Heather? Yeah.
that's it. You need to squat to sit, right? Yeah, I'll sit. Okay. Let's toss this in here. Take this here. And this here. Here. Should have cut another one? Yeah. For here? Oh, you can sit in the sleigh though, right? Once you get moving, or you want to sit on the snowmobile? No, I think we'll see how we can pull it once we get going. Yeah, I'm fresh snow. Yeah. I'll probably get into the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a quick little load. That'll keep us going for, oh, easily tonight and tomorrow, and maybe the next night too. I'm not sure, but we'll be back in again tomorrow. We know that. Yeah. Because <laughs> we just can't stay away. I'll show you what we got. I'm sure you've seen it anyways, but I'm gonna let this down a little wee bit. It's not a big load. But it gave us a little bit of exercise, got us out of the house. What more can you want? Right? Right. Ooh, I gotta fold these up here. I'll fold this up right back. Alrighty, I got the legs all folded up on this tripod, so this is all we got here. And they're kind of funky, but they'll still burn in our stove. And I got that much there left. So we can come in tomorrow, I guess, and pick it up, and that'll be another. That'll be a load, uh, that'll be a full load and some left over. I'm gonna hand this off to Heather and I'm gonna see if I can get going in here because it is fairly deep snow in here. I mean, it's it's loose snow, I should say, where the snow will be sitting. That's the only problem.
that's what we do around here sometimes on a really snowy day if it's too snowy to use a sawmill or to work outside. We go have some fun. Now, we're going to go put the kettle on. We're going to have a nice hot drink. I keep looking to make sure the cover's on the mill still, but it is. So, yeah. We're gonna go have a nice hot drink inside and warm up. Make a hot chocolate cup of tea. Hope you enjoyed a little snippet of what we do here in our homestead when it's really cold. Look at Heather's eyelashes. <laughs> you are snowy. <laughs> and, and you look, it's chilly on the face, it's, isn't it? It's cold on the face. Yeah. It's, it's like what, like minus 15 or something? Yeah, somewhere around there, yeah. Nice I'm cool. lucky. I'm lucky I got a, a beard and I can cover half my face with hair. For you, it's not so good. And you don't do up your coat either because it won't do up, well, will it? Well, it, it does. It's popping it, it off. Pops up, it pops off once in a while, but yeah. I always make sure like this one's done up, but. Yeah. Was well, it, I try to. Is it, it's colder in the sleigh than on your snow, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to fix your snow wheel, but. It's okay. I'm afraid it's I'm okay. gonna need. I don't, it's not a big deal. Like. <laughs> I think I need new parts for it though. I was looking, I don't have another axle for that, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. So uh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Oh well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, hope you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. I know it's a short little video of us just doing stuff outside, but I hope you enjoyed this little winter view again of our little homestead here. Old thumper's still running. Snow's coming down. Cars in there nice and safe. Little snowblower's in there until we need it. Nice and um, non-snowy. Little snow beast still work good. I leave that out here. So, anyways, you folks take care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, let us know how you folks enjoy it up here. Would you enjoy living the way we do? I think you probably could. Heather's got snow on her face. <laughs> you take care, folks. Bye, bye, all. Bye.